I have a lot of questions, but I won't ask you. Uh, I'll ask you just one. Or yes. You spoke about Ayurveda, mm. and I'm not going to the past. I'm a researcher, and I've read all the books that you have recommended. And uh, okay, uh, I live in Australia. So the two years or three years uh, back, uh, we started seeing advertisements about Western herbal medicine. Okay. And first, first thing was we started laughing, and even hmm. on the uh, Facebook advertisements, you will see comments where people laugh. Western herbal medicine? How can you say that? We know Chinese, we know African, we know Indian, we know Ayurveda. Hmm. Western medicine is something that is where are you getting hmm. it from? Hmm. Uh, that point in time, I did not realize the uh, long-term implications of this. Over a period of time, then COVID nineteen happened, and we all saw the reactions to. Ayurvedic medicines, Ananda Yagaru, everybody else, and uh, then uh, while doing my research, I also came across Invest India website where it was written that there is hundred percent FDI in Ayurveda. Government has approved that. So I was shocked, saying that on the one hand we are not allowed to practice what is ours, and on the other hand you are allowing for the foreigners to come and have hundred percent FDI in Ayurveda. And the other shocking thing was that hundred percent FDI in all three different categories of businesses either by automatic route or by direct route this was really revealing and shocking and then when you come across the policies that are being made these days i'm not sure how many are going into the policy uh, in depth understanding of those they all seem to be what you mentioned uh, western uh, universal models with eurocentric gaze with eurocentric investments in this regard if development is expedited four times the speed of what happened in the last few decades in the next where are we heading and how do we mitigate the risks is my question to you thank you you just made my point because this is exactly what i've been trying to tell people that you are limiting the scope of your cultural angst to politics as opposed to looking at policy okay which is to say you're so caught up in politics that you're not asking yourself what has it translated to with respect to policy whether the very same eurocentrism and western normativism is being pushed even by an ostensibly non left government okay and any time and every time somebody asks this question notwithstanding the fact that you vote for this government or you otherwise back for this government or you support this government on critical issues your allegiance is still questioned your loyalty is questioned unfortunately that is these questions uh, don't seem to come actually from the establishment itself these questions come from let's say the the trolls that swarm social media okay who don't understand policy the the worst part about let's say the situation is people in power are open to these questions they are open to criticism they are open to being told that you are actually getting it wrong on certain aspects but the ones who are loyal to the master than the master himself don't want you to ask these questions because they are extremely these questions are extremely uncomfortable questions and that's exactly where civilizational interests and dare i say epistemological interests knowledge based interests are being surrendered at the altar of and at the feet of politics you are talking of let's say ayurveda and science i asked the very same question with respect to the law which is to say what concrete steps have we taken to indigenize legal education in this country because legal reforms don't start from legal policies at the start at the top they start with legal education these are legitimate questions now you try telling these so called uh, let's say people who keep shouting on social media are bhai you will escalate or air or ventilate an expectation only if you believe that somebody has the intent or has the will or will is capable of doing it now when you ask me to shut up are you telling me that don't have such expectations i believe that this is the best government to actually put forth your point of view on these aspects because i couldn't have aired these expectations to the previous government but interestingly the ayush ministry was created by the previous government that is a reality that people may not want to talk about okay because they are so stuck in government versus government as opposed to asking what happens to our right 
to speak about indigenous science at the global table of science or a knowledge in general if i had said this point at the outset i would have been accused of a shifting allegiance okay or i would have been accused of taking a position against someone when the fact of the matter is i know for a fact that's not what let's say that someone would also think simply because if you don't take the criticism of well meaning uh, uh, constituents then who will you listen to right we believe that as long as you are in power there are quite a few things that can be achieved for the civilization so therefore we have every legitimate right and let's say dare i say a civilizational obligation to push this as much as possible so i'm grateful for the question because otherwise had it not been for this question i'm sure i'd have actually been flooded with hate mail for raising these points i'd have all sorts of comments flooding me on twitter saying oh look at him he is going to vote for the other side the next time oh he is saying don't vote for this party th this time are ye nahi honge to tum kahan jaoge are ve kaun keh raha hai ye sab who is saying all of this why are you inventing storm and arguments ek legitimate sawal pucha ja raha hai uska jawab dijiye aur bharat dekhiye so let me let me take a step further hindutva kya sirf politics mein hai science mein nahi hai kya knowledge mein nahi hai kya education mein nahi hai kya bhasha niti mein nahi hai तो हिंदुत्व का अगर रेलेवेंस जो है हर स्पेसिफिक इश्यू में है और लेट्स से हर हर एरिया में है तो आप सिर्फ इसको पॉलिटिकल एरिना में क्यों देख रहे हैं हिंदुत्व अकॉर्डिंग टू मी हैज लेजिटमेसी एंड एप्लीकेशन इन एवरी रेल ऑफ सिविलाइजेशनल इंटरेस्ट इट कान गेट क्लियर देन दैट you are the one who is effectively saying that hindutva must be limited to municipal elections assembly elections and parliamentary elections isse zyada aapka dimag jata nahi hai aur iske bare mein sochna nahi chahte what are we supposed to do see here's the interesting part every time the left says the non left in this country the right in this country unke paas na dimag hai na intellectual kabiliyat hai unko jawab dene ka man nahi karta hai kya aapko these are the people who are casteists who are effectively saying that only the left is the repository of knowledge and brains इनको जवाब देना चाहिए मुंह तोड़ जवाब देना चाहिए कि आप जो पढ़ा रहे हैं लोगों को और बच्चों को जो पढ़ा रहे हैं इट इज नॉट इट्स नॉट साइंस इट्स क्वैकरी एंड वॉट यूर टीचिंग हिस्ट्री वॉट यूर टीचिंग स्टूडेंट नेम ऑफ हिस्ट्री इज प्रोपगेंडा यूर द फास्टेस्ट मार्क्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर ये जवाब देना जरूरी है सो ऑब्वियसली टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन आई एंडॉस द क्वेश्चन कंप्लीटली आई ऑल्सो एंडॉस द अंडरलाइन सेंटिमेंट बिहाइंड द क्वेश्चन एंड आई एम ग्रेटफुल फॉर द क्वेश्चन as much as i had a problem with let's say a few questions before three questions before not with the person who was asking the question but the 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 incurability of the particular disease this is the issue again i repeat before i'm swarmed by trolls on social media are bhai main congress ke liye vote nahi karunga chinta mat karo ye us cheez ke bare mein nahi hai har cheez voting pe ja ke nahi rukti hai usse thoda aage sochne ki koshish karo two i am equally aware that we are able to have these discussions only because of the dispensation from 2014 ye bhi sach hai i don't need to be told this obviously so many initiatives have become possible because of this there is no doubting it at all aap se koi ye shay chheenne ki koshish nahi kar raha hai to chinta mat karo don't lose sleep over this chill karo but usse aage bhi aap dekhna sikho these are legitimate questions that tomorrow indigenous sciences pe or indigenous industry pe fir se angrezon ka kabza nahi hona chahiye multinationals ka kabza nahi hona chahiye ye hamare hai ye hindutva ki to baat hai 